All right, so the first thing you can do is click play and then create new. And, and um, if you want to keep building all your stuff in the same world, you can later on. I'm just doing this for the very first time. Um, uh, I, I would go to template and go to blocks of grass. So in other words, pretty much just a flat area. Uh, it, it makes it much easier to work and uh, saves you time because everything's flat. And then you push E for inventory, and you're going to need to go to the redstone area. You can click search for redstone. Just type in redstone like that. And definitely you're going to need some of this redstone dust for sure. You're definitely going to need a redstone torch. Uh, you will probably need a repeater at one point, but, uh, you know, we'll worry about that later. Um, and then you'll need redstone lamp. That's going to be our output, like our light. Um, you'll need some just regular blocks. So I'm gonna. I think it doesn't matter what kind. I tend to use the brick one, a brick block. But you, then if you make a mistake somewhere, you tear up the ground, and you don't like how ugly it looks. You can always just get a new grass block, just in case. And you'll make. You'll definitely need a switch. A lever. Oh, it's called a lever in here. So you'll need a lever. That's going to be your input, your switch input. And I think that's all I need for now. I'll come back here if I need something. Uh, but if you right click, if you right click, uh, first off, if I click one, two, three, four, five, six, I can switch to all my different stuff. Eight is over here. You can also scroll on the mouse wheel. It'll change between the stuff like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my inputs. And I'm going to make an AND gate. So I'm, I, need, I need two levers. Put them where you like. And then those are your switches. And then I'm going to switch to red stone dust and start right clicking. Don't left click. If you left click, you're going to break something like that. Um, and that's your wires right here. And they're going to lead to uh, three brick. Oops, see, don't do what I did. That's OK. I can fill it in here. It's going to lead to three bricks. And then you're going to have to go to the torch. Oh, that's a lever. The torch. And you need a torch here, a torch here, and a torch here. And that's an AND gate right there. Nope, no, it's not. You need redstone and dust right there. There you go. That's an AND gate right there. And the output of the AND gate is right here. And here's your inputs right here. And if I put a redstone lamp right here, I'll put two right there. You guys will see that when this switch is on, do you guys see that switch is on right there? It turns bright red. Um, it's still not on. And if I switch this switch on, it's still not on. And if I switch it off, it's still not on. The only way on an AND gate to turn that lamp on is to switch that on and to switch that on. And then it turns on. That is an AND gate. Oh, and don't forget, on the assignment it says to include a sign. So I'm going to go to E, and I know I forgot something. Uh, I'm going to go over here and just click on any of these signs and add it to your inventory, escape, and then go over here to, for me, that's number seven or something, and then right click here and then type in and gate. And then I think you just push escape and that will get you out. And then there you go. You got a nice little sign. You can build a fence around this, whatever you want. Um, now, I just want to show you something real quick, how this works in Minecraft. Just to let you know, in real life, in real life, if I ran a wire long enough, it would be useless after a while because electricity has difficulty with all the resistance of the wire. That's really true. Um, so, very similar is that true in Minecraft. Please look here. Most times you'll never need to run a wire this long. But there are times when we're doing larger stuff that you might end up doing this. And I'm not sure why. And then you'll put your redstone lamp here. And then, let me put two. Uh, where did I go? Here we go. And A, it should be on. Because this one is on right here. This one's on. And that should be on, but it's not. Because if you look, it fizzles out after a while and it's dead, the wire. You can always put a repeater, a redstone repeater, and just kind of boost the signal. There we go. And boost the signal again. 
Okay. If you ever wanted to go that far. So it still works. Okay. An OR gate looks something like this. I'm not going to do the switches, folks. Oops. I, I left clicked. Um, uh, a, an OR gate is super simple. Literally, all you do is put. Are you there? Ignore my phone. Are you there? You just put this right there. That's there? it. That's an OR gate right here. Okay? Are you there? If this one turns on or the other one turns on, this turns on. So that's an OR there? gate. And um, that's an OR gate. And then an inverter is actually pretty simple as well. It's just that with a torch on one side. You cannot put redstone powder underneath the torch. It has to go over here. And if you guys look, uh, oops, hold on. I'm about finished. I just want to show you this one right here. Look at this. This lever is off, but the lamp's on. Now it's on, but it's off. Do you guys see that? An inverter. An inverter. Okay? So make sure that you build all three. Um, you build all three, you include signs. If you want to make them look really cool, I have some students that try to hide the wires in the ground and whatever. You can do whatever you want. Um, just uh, make sure you, you include a screenshot that looks nice like this so that I can kind of see, I can see that it's properly done. For example, don't include a screenshot that looks like this, okay? Do not do it like that. Maybe like that would be a cool screenshot right there or even a little further away if you wanted to. Um, just get rid of the chicken. Uh, all, right. all right, so that's it, folks.